4 million people around the world have a genetic disorder that causes chronic fatigue, intense episodes of pain, and eventual organ failure. Their average life expectancy is just 47. This is sickle cell disease. It causes these issues because oxygen cannot be properly transported throughout the body. Red blood cells of healthy people travel through blood vessels with no issues from the lungs to organs, bones, and tissues. For people with sickle cell disease, it doesn't work this smoothly. But a new chemical compound targets the main cause of the problem in a different way. It just got FDA approval, so the media covered it, but they didn't explain it well. This channel covers scientific studies. Subscribe to join us. Red blood cells depend on one molecule to carry oxygen, hemoglobin. It picks up oxygen in the lungs and carries it throughout the body. People with sickle cell? This delivery system doesn't work right. They have a mutation that gives them a different type of the molecule. It can pick up the oxygen okay, but when it's released, something unique happens. The hemoglobin sticks together and forms long chains within the red blood cells. These are rigid and they distort the cell's shape, causing them to lose their disc structure. Many are irregular shaped, some even become sickle shaped. A single red blood cell travels between the lungs and organs several times a minute, meaning sickle hemoglobin is constantly deforming and reforming when it reacquires oxygen. This is difficult on the cells and causes them to become damaged and even disintegrate. Red blood cells normally live for 120 days, but sickle cell causes them to break down sooner and the bone marrow, which makes them, cannot keep up. Fewer red blood cells in circulation leads to less oxygen going to organs. This is why people with the disease feel tired, short of breath, and have headaches. And over time, this damages organs. Sickle-shaped red blood cells can also become stuck in blood vessels, leading to severe pain in the bones and in some cases, stroke. Now, how could you treat this? Would you target the symptoms, try to fix the faulty hemoglobin, or help the body produce a different kind of hemoglobin? Scientists are working on all three. For years, a popular option has been hydroxyurea, which helps people produce fetal hemoglobin. Everyone has this before birth, but after the body stops producing it. With more of this in the body, sickle cell sufferers have fewer deformed red blood cells. But the faulty hemoglobin is still being produced in the bone marrow. Why not just fix the bones? That's being done too. Bone marrow transplants use stem cells to help create healthy red blood cells and this works 85% of the time. But this requires chemotherapy, serious time in the hospital, and a donor match. It has so far been reserved for the worst cases of the disease and isn't broadly available. The newest option, though, may change this. It's a chemical compound called GBT440, more commonly known as Voxelator. Developed by Global Blood Therapeutics, it can be taken in pill form, and once in the body, it interacts with the blood itself. The compound then binds to sickle hemoglobin molecules and causes it to maintain shape and hold on to oxygen. Because of this, it can no longer form the rigid chains that deform the red blood cell. Less deformation, less destruction, and fewer red blood cells getting stuck. With a more efficient oxygen transportation system, risk of things like fatigue and organ failure are reduced. You can probably understand why it's trending. Now hopefully you can understand how it works. This video was not sponsored and made for educational purposes only. We just felt like the media did a poor job of explaining this. Hit the notification bell to support the channel and share with anyone you know who likes science.